Hello everyone, Zcore here, and it's finally that time of the decade again when you guys get to bully me over my choice of armor and my stats. What that means is, as in the title of the video you saw, I'm going to be doing a inventory showcase, an account overview, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm, doing, I'm actually doing this because somebody requested me to do it, but I also realized that since I hit rank 70, which is sort of a milestone, but also my account has been changing so much in the short little time span that uh, has, has gone by um it's probably time to make one of these like it and, and that's actually pretty funny because like uh i don't know about like seven months ago or something when i would stream a lot of people asked me like oh could you like go through inventory and make a inventory showcase video but every time i would tell them like oh you can just watch my last video and my inventory is basically the same thing but uh, after a while, like like around five six months ago, stuff started changing a lot in my account, and I started getting a lot of different guns, as you might guess by the random box opening video that I uh, uploaded some time ago. Um, yes, that was a voice crack, exclusive voice crack. Um, so a lot has changed in my account, and I'm gonna be going through uh, all these different sections on my account. Uh, for those of you who don't like longer videos like this, because I'm gonna this is going to be a longer video and I'm going to sort of like explain different stuff and like tell different stories. If that's not your cup of tea, I apologize, but I think this is the best thing for both camps, those who appreciate it and those who don't. Because if you don't like this type of stuff, you can just mute the video and put uh, put some music on and put on times two speed. But if you, um, if that's not your case, then you can't like somehow force imagine the, the creator giving some sort of stories while they review their account because and i bring this up because i see some people on other inventory showcase videos where they like praise the creator and the video video for being so simplistic and just being straight straight up i don't know three four minutes of music and scrolling through an inventory and i don't i don't i don't really understand that because like i said if that if that's what you prefer you can do that with the other types of videos too but if that's not what you don't like then you're losing it if the creator decides to review their account that way so again if this these longer videos and this sort of like all this talk is not what you like then i apologize but you can just put music on and relax sit back and put on times two speed if not i hope you enjoy the the stories and spice that I'll be adding while I go through my inventory uh, or my account I should say but anyways we're gonna start here uh, as you can see I'm rank 70 it only took seven years that's true but and you might be wondering how that's even possible but actually a little uh, we're gonna be jumping a little ahead here when I show this but you see I only have even though I've been playing since the closed beta I only have uh, I, uh, let's say 1900 hours and a lot of people who've started like way after me have have like much more than that like at least above 2000 hours so uh the reason I'm, I'm this low rank is a few things first of all um i i'm not a big fan of co-op and i even less of a fan of of uh what's they call spec ops missions and i think they're the like main uh source of xp and all Two, I've never had VIP and Mega VIP. Well, I have it now. I'm sort of so that's sort of a lie. But uh, back when I played the most actively in my career, my Warfist career, whatever you want to call it, I I never had a VIP and stuff. So I was basically scraping at the bottom of the barrel for XP uh, whenever I played. And again, what I mostly played was PVP, which doesn't give you much XP. And first win bonuses, not that they make that much difference, I think. But they didn't even exist uh, back when I played uh, the most frequently that I did. So uh, that's my excuses for being this low rank. Uh, that and and around like I'd say like three four years ago uh, probably I I started becoming very inactive uh, because due to my studies like I, I decided to prioritize my university and college and focus on those so even less 
time spent on the game. Um, I have 400 uh, rest coins. Last time I did co-op was like probably more than a year ago. <laughs> so I never used these. No, it's not, it wasn't a year ago. I did some like during a stream. Um, crowns, I used to have a lot of crowns because clans back in the day... Sorry for that. Clans back in the day got you a shit ton of crowns. Did I just say crowns got you a lot of crowns? Clans got you a lot of crowns because of what's called a clan ladder. I th right? Am I mistaking? And I was in a super, super active and, and serious and strong uh, clan called Exodus. And then later Uplifted. And actually, I don't know if we were top rank in Uplifted. I think we were a few times. But it was mainly in the Exodus days where we were uh, at the top of the clan leaderboard most of the time. So you see here, like, clans, we were, uh, we were one first position, like, a lot of times. And then uh, a few other times, we were, like, second and third. And then after the clan started declining, we were, like, in the top ten still. So back then, we got a lot of crowns due to that, but I don't know where all of it went, I'll be honest. Phone, come on, can you shut up? Um... Let me just mute this. Hopefully I don't get any important messages. Um, so, uh, yeah. I don't know where it all went, but I'm basically broke on crowns. And that might be surprising for people now, because I think people get crowns pretty easily just from playing uh, ranked. But, surprise, surprise. Uh, rank is not my cup of tea, and I have never played it very much and in fact I don't know if this is going to surprise you, you guys I've never hit rank 1 I probably haven't even been under rank 10 I don't know I, rank is just that uninteresting to me <laughs> war feast dollars pretty abysmal amount um, I spend on these war feast dollar random boxes pretty often and again all the explanations that I gave to my to justify my low rank apply to my war feast dollars as well <laughs> I just, the last time I was like above 100k was probably more than two years ago, and um, I don't think I've ever been above 300k worth of dollars. Um, back when I played super actively, I probably was in the couple of hundred thousands, but I never went above that. Don't ask me why, it's been too long and I don't remember. I think I probably spent all of it on... Warfy stall random boxes back in the day and nowadays on like these newer boxes just to get nothing. Um, credits I have right now about 4,000 and um, some people might be confused about this a lot of times and about the guns that I show in my inventory but um, my credits and the guns that I get, well the, gu the guns that I have in my inventory they come from the credits but the credits that I have they come from uh, I get them because I'm part of the Warface Operative Network, and that means uh, based on my uh, uh, channel size or like popularity and the amount of uh, activity I have, um, I get compensated in credits for for the work I put in. Well, that's how I'm I'm saying I'm putting it. I'm sort of glorifying it by saying the work I put in. But I basically get paid in credits for making videos, for making content. Okay. And that's where all my credits comes from. Uh, I've only ever spent $60 on, on the game. And that was uh, one to give back to the devs and like show a bit of thank you. I know it's not much, but again, the standard price of a game is like 60 So I was like, I'll give $60. Um, and the occasion was uh, the first release of the Karkum SMG as a credit random box weapon. Um, and some of you guys might know the, the dark age of, or the dark event, the, the dark past that was when I attempted to get the Karkum. Spoilers, I didn't get it with the $60, I had to go way above and beyond that, but the video about that is on my channel, so I'll let you explore that if you want. Um, I think it's probably been like 50 minutes by already by now, but we're going to start here with the inventory, of course. I'll go through the weapons uh, slowly, and if there's any of them that I feel like it warrants a story or explanation, I'll, I'll give that as well. Uh, but first of all, here we go. Um, 
Actually, I think we can see all my skins here, so... I was gonna say I have this jaw skin that we like, but we'll probably get to that later. So, here we go. Um, just the typical. Um, actually, one thing about the inventory is that I don't like is... The, it seems to be so random. I'm sorry for the, the random tangent here, but... There's like no actual fucking order in this thing. It's not... It's not by alpha, alphabet, it's not by last used, it's not by uh, last purchased or last obtained. Warface, please tell me, what's, <laughs> how are these organized, please? Is it like a lottery here? <laughs> um, I have the M16. Okay, now this gun, they actually did something cheeky here, and what they did is that this actually used to be classified as epic. If I, or I mean legendary, I mean, if you, let me see. So you see like this legendary, this used to be legendary as well. Um, I don't know if if it was by mistake, but I, I think it wasn't because uh, people are surprised that I actually have this gun. It's not anything impressive at all, but people are still surprised that I have it. So I think it's pretty rare. Um, and But I never use it, obviously, I never use it. Machine guns are just like not my thing and this is not that good anyways uh but i do have it <laughs> just to show off i don't know if i can show off it any show it off anymore because it's rare now but yeah i have it as well um then we get to these other guns uh these earthshaker weapons if some of you don't know um after the, the publisher changed from crytek to my.com itself uh all players were offered a, a free set of earthshaker weapons to uh, sort of uh, promote the transition and the carry over to the new publisher, I guess. So that's where I have this from. I don't have the normal T27 even, uh, spoiler alert. Um, Evil Santa, very, very good skin. I really like it. Um, yeah, we're just going to go through these. Um... I don't know what to say. Okay, now this one, what I wanted to say is that you're going to see some weapons here that you wouldn't expect me to have if you know about me and know how vocal I am about, like, battle passes and stuff. So that might come out, come off as very, like, either disingenuous or, like, confusing. But the reason I have a lot of these stuff is because um, I think, apparently, I, I'm going to sound so lost when I say this, but apparently... All one members are automatically given access to the battle passes, I think. And when I go on my inventory on the website, I saw that I have a lot of these stuff. So I was like, you know, I have these. I might as well redeem them and, and like use them to make videos, even though I don't support the battle passes. I don't think those two totally oppose each other. So a lot of these skinned weapons and skins that I have, they come from the, ba the, the free access I've been given to the battle pass. Even though I, I totally oppose the whole idea and concept of battle passes, okay? That might sound super hypocritical, I realize. But um, that is uh, the way things are. So a lot of skins and weapons that you'll see come do come from the battle passes. Not because I bought them and and, and actively completed them. I think they're, they're completable, right? I don't know. I've never had a battle pass before. Like, I've never actively gone uh, towards it, but... That's where they're from. They're not from me. They're from like, they're like side little goodies that I found while just playing the game randomly. Um, gold para. I think this was my first gold weapon, and as you saw there, gold weapons aren't infinite anymore in durability. The reason this infinite is because I got it back when uh, gold weapons did have infinite durability, and it's actually a pretty interesting story about this. And the video of it is on my channel, but. I got this from the first ever official Warface stream that happened on Twitch. When And during those streams, they would um, give away permanent weapons like this one. And the first stream, the first giveaway, they gave this out. And um, I, I was lucky enough to get it. And what makes it even like funnier is that um, I was outdoors, I think, or... I think I was at college, so at school, if you will, uh, while the stream was happening, and I just tuned in to like watch a little bit and like 
uh, chat a little bit. And the giveaway started, and I just I just um, joined in the giveaway, and then I left. I, I went offline, and uh, I didn't have internet until I got back home. And I said to myself, oh, wouldn't it be super funny and interesting if I actually won it? And then <laughs> I get back home, and lo and behold, I actually win... <laughs> Won the giveaway and there was such a like huge grand reaction about it on my channel. Uh, I, what am I saying on my channel? Um, there was such a huge and funny reaction about it, about me winning it on the stream, which I completely missed and I had to like uh, watch later. But yeah, that's how it happened and the video of it is on my channel as well if you want to check it out. But that's the story behind why I have the gold uh, infinite durability para. Um, then we'll get to some other more common ones. Uh, nothing too special to go over here. Um, I don't think the MG3 is that rare. But, well, you never see these guns anyways, but, um, yeah. So it's hard to say if they're rare or not actually rare. Um, now, you might be wondering why I have, like, expired shit, and the reason, if it's not... Uh, sort of obvious uh, sorry if it's not sort of obvious already is because when when I get like expired weapons they might have like a story or some sort of memory attached to them so I'm not gonna I don't delete them necessarily I delete the ones that I have permanent versions of but if there's some that I have like memories with uh, or they come from an occasion like for example this uh, World Cup one I I'm gonna keep them um, I'm gonna go here not too many of them are like that um, this shiny metal set I don't know if it came back but it was like one of the first ever camos that we got like in back in like 2016 2017 um, the yellow emperor is actually pretty damn nice I have this permanent on EU um, urban as well one of the very older older skins is US sweat US sweat oh my god US set same thing <laughs> Um, yeah, and then we go on, nothing much here, and, okay, yeah, that seems to be it. Now, on to pistols, you start at the top here, you do have the gold deagle, but I never use that, I don't really like the deagle all that much, because I like hip firing with pistols, and it's just garbage for hip fire. Uh, Earthshaker, Glock, again, part of the package that we got uh, during the transition, okay, you see, like, this is another example of the Battle Pass uh, rewards that I just saw, like, oh, wow, it's my inventory. You see this one, too, this one, too. <laughs> um, this one is actually sort of special because, as you see, it just says crown, and I think the newer stuff says, uh, what does it say? It's, like, premium crown or some shit. Let me see. Elite crown, yeah, premium crown. But I actually prefer this old crown. I think it looked more interesting it's like it had a like sort of pattern and and like sort of feel to it rather than just fucking orange co orange and black color colors but this is this was this given to players quite recently actually i don't remember what it was for but i think everybody has this shit um i'm pretty sure everybody has this shit um again different uh battle passwords i hate this carbon skin if you use it we can't be friends <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> Um, yeah, nothing much to talk about here. Um, did we pass the Q92? Yeah, we got to the, it's the Q92. I didn't vent about the Q92 again. Wait, where's my Q92? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Wait, no, that's just the particle. Is this? Oh, there it is. The Q92 used to be rare. That's why I wanted to talk about it used to be super rare, and nobody had it, but then they started giving away at every fucking chance they got. And now it's part of, like, uh, you get its skin, so... It used to be uh, rare and make me feel special, but it doesn't anymore. So, yeah. Um, then we get again to my expired stuff. Uh, gun glove used to be pretty rare, and nobody w had it, but it came back in the April Fool's event. So that's everywhere. And, um, oh, the gold, the Christmas Deagle used to be super broken, but they actually nerfed it when it came back, which is pretty funny. It used to be, like, a super good hip-firing pistol, 
so like basically my shit but for some reason they ch- decided to change it when I came back um, so yeah that's pretty much it for these um, now we get to knives here we go again part of the Earthshaker package oh, I have, like the worst I'm gonna have to change these all back again uh, Phobos Ice Axe the normal ice axe, I have a feeling it's rare. I don't know if people have it, but I never see anybody use it. I don't know if it's just because it doesn't have fancy animations like the new ones, but I have a little like tingling feeling that it's, it might be rare. Um, then we... So this is what I'm talking about, just normal axe. I, I'm pretty sure the Black Hawk used to be super rare as well, but again, they fucking decided to give, away, give it away at every occasion they got. It's like... Oh, you woke up today? Congrats! Here's a Black Hawk for free. Like, I don't understand, but it's it's my favorite um, melee weapon. I, ha- I actually have a master of it. Spoiler alert. Um, and I, it sort of pisses me off that they came out with this the new fucking axe, like this tactical axe, and now the Gerber, because this u- this is like the OG Tomahawk or like uh, axe sort of weapon. And I was like, oh, this is cool, but this like. No, they, they like fucking threw this in the garbage and I'm like, no, we can make it cooler. But, um, re-release it as credit box melee weapons. <laughs> so I'm sort of pissed about that, but still, this this is my favorite melee weapon. And do not dare disrespect it. Um, we continue on to my uh, expired stuff. The katana, I don't, I, I feel like it's still pretty damn popular, but I hate the katana. And I want I want to let all, the whole world know because before Katana was released, I used to play melee only matches and they were super fun. But the Katana just came out of nowhere. And first of all, you couldn't you always got one shot by it and it had the range of a sniper rifle. So it, it just completely ruined the balance in melee only weapons, uh, melee only games. And I have never played. I basically have never played the melee only game since the release of this the katana so although i like katanas in real life and like i i sort of really appreciate them warface has tainted that for me with what they fucking did with the weapon and i i I sort of hold the grudge i like take my fist up to the air whenever i think of katana and, and warface um i wonder if the iso class x is rare i don't I think you could you could get a permanent from like a melee box during Christmas, but I don't know. It might be rare. Uh, the hammer, if you guys are wondering, I think we got it during the... Um, well, there's wooden hammer and hammer. I don't remember. It says wait hammer time. So I assume this was given to us during the April Fool's event. Wait, they have the same descriptions and shit. I have a feeling either it's from April Fool's or it's from um, World War II, when we got World War II shit. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, nothing else much here. We get to the frag grenades. So a lot of uh, firework grenades. These used to be rare too, but then they started giving it out as well. It's like they have a... They freaking hate whenever something's rare and they want to give it to everyone. I don't understand it. Um, knockback grenades. Um, for those of you who were fortunate enough to not live in the past and play Warface in the past, these used to be called Crywar grenades, and they used to be so prevalent. And th- their whole existence is such a question to me. Like it boggles my mind who thought that any semblance of balance could exist with with the existence of these uh, these grenades. If you don't know what these nades do, they knock people down. Um, I know, very logical, you see that out in the open, out in the world every day, so it adds realism to the game, but no, just, just, they should, this should never have been a thing, and it's funny because, like, after the, we complained so much and, and, like, got their attention about it, instead of just removing it completely from the game, they were like, they announced it, like, a week in advance, so everybody could stack up on it, and then they removed it from the shop, that's it. So super bad handling on that, but at least it's not um, a thing anymore. Or yeah, I don't think people use that anymore. I assume, hopefully, 
Mischief Grenade uh, from Halloween, I think it's not that rare anymore either. Um, nothing rare here. I'll have a lot of smokes, I don't really switch it up or use different ones. And I hate the fact that you can only have one smoke now. I, I realize it's probably due to balance issues, but... Um, wait, let me message AK. I'm getting a peek at behind the scenes here. <laughs> um, okay, where was I? I was at smokes. Okay, um, I don't like that idea. I, I feel like it was pretty nice to have se several smokes, both in in round based game modes, but also in like sm in uh, storm. Uh, that was something that was pretty nice and fun. So I have like all these different types. I don't know if any of them are like valuable or rare, but uh, I have a lot of them, and I never use them. Claymore, Banana Claymore, I don't know if that's rare, Christmas gift box, I don't know if that's rare either, Christmas ammo pack, I don't think you can get this permanent anymore, um, so I'm sort of proud to have it, if I'm not mistaken about that fact, um, but I don't have any of those actual useful ones, I just have a skin version. <laughs> now when it gets to armor, my armor is very not, very much not impressive, you're going to get totally let down, as you can already see, um, you're going to see here I don't have very much anything um just uh, a lot of expired stuff and the typical stuff vest um and i'm gonna explain why my choice of equipment here in a second after i go through these uh this as you see here this is the old design of the crown vest and crown series it looked way better in my opinion as i said uh gloves just the usual here's the old design and boots, same thing. How do I have that temporary? How do you even get that temporarily? I have no memories attached to you, so you're going to get deleted. Um, and there's the old design of them. Now, you might be wondering, Z Core, why the hell are you wearing default gloves, anti-mine boots, and strike for vest? And what you'll see in my other classes. Uh, my main, my primary factor for choosing armor is what they look like. Um, I realize I'm wearing a skin right now, so that's sort of like a non-argument that I'm giving, but usually I don't run a skin, and these are like the best looking, uh, the best looking pieces of armor that, uh, I can use and that are not cancerous. Default gloves, um, Strike Force Vest is the best one out of the ones I have for Rifleman class, that's why I have it. Default gloves, it's a, I, I genuinely very much like the way it looks, um, but... Uh, also, the, the Rifleman class doesn't have gloves that look any better than it. Uh, things are different for the boots, though. The reason I'm using anti-mine boots is because I hate mines, and I never want to worry about them. So, uh, I really want that um, delay, mine delay, so that's why I have them equipped. I don't mind the, le the slower movement. If anything, that's sort of like a challenge to me. That's my excuse. <laughs> um... VIP and stuff boosters, you can see them here. This is an old one that I, I'm pretty sure isn't around anymore. I don't remember when it was given to us, so don't ask. Body skins, um, there was a time when we got a lot of female skins for free. I think it was like one of the big major updates. So I used to use them back then, but now and sort of in general, I, I'm not a big fan of skins. Um, one reason is probably because I'm free to play, but I don't really care about them much or, or really give much value to them. But uh, I thought this one looked decent. I bought it. So yeah, shoot me in the face. And now a lot of skins. Again, most of these come from Battle Pass pickups uh, without me even realizing about it. Um, but there are some some ones that are, some of them that are like actually like more rare or like actually was conscious of getting them so like these third anniversary skins I actually don't like them I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion I, I think they look very basic and, and simplistic and and I don't really like that tone of blue either much uh, fourth anniversary is better it's much better but again it's sort of a, a little bit of a uh, so it's a, a combination of colors that I think gets your eyes tired really quickly Fifth anniversary though, I fucking love it. It's it's a fucking great um, set of skin. I, I think they fucking absolutely nailed it with it. 
Scarlet Dragon and the Dragon series, the different Dragon series, I think they're very nice as well. Icebreaker skins, I think they're nice, but I think they fucking got murdered so much that everybody fucking used them. So, I don't really like them much anymore, at least. Um, that nah, just I just have some like other skins. This one, I, when it came out, I I really liked the way it looked, and I tried it on my. I think I saw how it looked on on this weapon, the MSBS, and I really liked it too, especially on this weapon. I mean, so I, I uh, purchased it and put on that weapon, even though I, the last time I used that gun was like more than a year ago, probably. Um, then we get some other stuff. Korean anniversary skin. The name says it, but it was so long ago, I don't even know when I got it. Um, I'm pretty sure it was either for crowns or for credit in the in the shop. But it was very, very low amount of crowns. I think there was a Korean anniversary skin for the US-12. There is one, but I'm not sure if that was in the shop as well. Um, but this one is was definitely in the shop and I got it. Uh, that's it for skins. Now let's go to my weapons for... Medic, uh, got the USL, just recently made a video on it, you can watch that. Earthshaker, um, Accuracy 7, I'm going to call it, I'm going to keep calling it. Again, part of the package that everybody got. Um, we continue on, nothing special. A Caltech, um, <laughs> I don't like this shotgun, um, and that might piss some of you, I, you guys off to here, but... Uh, I wanted this this gun for like an hour or, or f like a few hours to do a f couple of games during it, uh, with it during a stream. And then I got 200% of it, so <laughs> I apologize to all of you guys out there who want this gun, but don't have it while well, I have it here and I'm complaining about it. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we go on with some other older ones. Nothing much to talk about. Um... I think, yeah, there's probably not much here to uh, comment on. Medic isn't my favorite class or anything either. This shiny metal set for the Saiga, um, like I said, pretty old and, and rare skin. Oh, this, um, this reminds me, the urban skin? I don't know if it was just for the Viper here, but for some reason, this skin was a nerfed version for every gun. Like... The Viper itself for for the long there was like a period of time when the Viper was like the most cancerous and popular shotgun in the game, um, but then they released this version of it and with this skin and for some reason it was just nerf version. So I don't know what the logic behind that was honestly, but they they put it out there so <laughs> it was a thing for some time. Um, nothing else to see here. Again, I don't have any of these and I didn't get the Christmas medkits permanently. Um, move on to Engineer. I think Engineer is a class where I have most of the uh, meta or credit random box weapons, but um, I really don't use much, many of them. I don't like many of them either. Well, I don't like many of the credit random box, but I have a lot of favorite SMGs. The, the favorite of them all, the most, the topest in English. The number one of uh, out of all of them is obviously the Karkum SMG, Karkum Master Race. But I have all these other ones as well. Uh, the, the Scorpion, <laughs> the the Icebreaker Scorpion, is the same as, as with the Caltech. I wanted for like one hour to make a video on it since I was getting a buff. But then I got a permanent. <laughs> same thing for, for this pistol. I think I went through it pretty quickly, but... Um, where is it? The Yakuza? Which actually, I, I didn't talk about this, but this, this skin looks gorgeous gorgeous as well. I think I, I it's, it's one of the be better ones. Um, that pistol as well, I wanted to make a video on it and I got a perm. So lucky me. Um, yeah, so... Again, Urban AK-9. I f I'm not sure if all the weapons of this set were nerfed. Were like trash versions or just the Viper, but that's what that one looked like. And then we continue on with the other stuff. Um, oh, the gold, old crown weapons look like this. And 
This is the gun that probably I have the most uh, regress attached to. Maybe not so much anymore because now they reduced the requirements for the mastery achievements, but I Karkamis Ninja was always my favorite weapon and this this gun, this crown version was like the most broken thing in, in the universe. But when it was available, I didn't really play that much with it. It's not so little in fact that I like I said I didn't even have the mastery of it. So I sort of regret it when it went away and they even have the freaking achievement for it, but um it it was broken so i'll give myself a pass like i'll make an excuse that i was out of empathy for others out of sympathy um and and i got the achievement now since they lowered the requirements so i can forgive but i never forget um this is the first anniversary skin the first anniversary stuff when this one was actually released first of all these these anniversary weapons uh skins were applied to i think at the time they're pretty weak weapons and if the, whether they were or not um as soon as these guns were released it was all anybody was using because they were just that good and fun to use like this anniversary ump it was so damn good and so fun to use i think f during the anniversary period it was all that i was using like most other people um so yeah that was a pretty good time so that's it for engineers. I have a thousand AP mines, and I'm frustrated that I cannot use them. It feels very bad. I I, I really like the animation and when you plant them, so it's a shame that I can't use them and can't don't get to see that anymore. Oh, I didn't show my armor for medic. There's nothing much to see anyways. Again, like I said, just well for medic it's sort of different. I choose like sort of the best gear. Um. If I was going to buy my usual standards, I would choose a scout vest, but I don't really play medic, and when I do, it's like, I, wanna, I don't want to um, pen penalize others, so I thought I might as well use better stuff. So this the stuff here, and again, anti-mine boots for life. Now, engineer, yes, let's go to the armor. For once, I have a decent helmet that sort of looks good, too. I think, probably, maybe. Um, wait, did they completely remove? Okay, I think there was these things called superior helmets. I think they, I don't see them here, so the fuckers removed them from my inventory completely from the game. But uh, <laughs> their concept was so stupid. The reason I'm bringing it up now is because I think that, that, that was the coolest looking helmet in the entire game. And the way the helmet looked, it was for the engineer uh, class. I'm, I'll probably, I'll maybe put a picture of it here, but it was a, a, a helmet with a, one single eye that was sort of like a laser. So it sort of almost made you look like a cyclops. But I think that looked pretty cool. And uh, so I got reminded of that, but those helmets were like, again, on, on the level of cry war when it comes to illogical. So I'm glad they removed them, Actually no, I'm glad he, the issue is is gone. But I don't. I'm not glad they removed those helmets. I hope, I was, ho I hope they could do something about it. They probably won't. But if they fixed it by like um, changing the effects instead, that would have been much better. Um, again, uh, engineer class. Now here, the thing is, I think the plate vest looks absolutely gorgeous, but it is a very cancerous vest. Another fucking problem in this game, I don't understand how this effect can exist. Absorbs the damage of the first hit. Like, what? What is this? A card game? Like, you're giving Monster Reborn to people? Like, no. That's just stupid. So, if this vest was in casters, that's what I would have equipped. But the next big best thing and best looking thing was the Gamma Vest. So, that's what I'm going with. So, yeah. Nothing much here. The engineer gloves actually look pretty decent. Uh, I don't know if I would class say they're above the default gloves, but they look good enough for me to uh, opt in for them instead of the default gloves. The Christmas gloves look pretty cool too. They look a bit simplistic and like fat, but I don't know. They were sort of nice, especially when you're on uh, Blackwood. The blue taint they had, they look pretty nice. Uh, 
Now, I have fast anti-mine shoes here, because I think they're upgrades to this, but just for NG, so that's why I have them. And they sort of look better than the anti-mine boots too, so... Actually, do they? <laughs> they look a little weird. Never mind. Nah, they look too... They don't look too bad. It's fine. I forgive myself. Okay, let's get to snipers. Oh, never mind. I said I have most engineer credit random box weapons, but I think I have most... I think I have like 99% of the credit random box snipers. Um, so yeah, we're going to go through them here. I'm going to see Earthshaker, the free set, part of the free set that we got. Gold, uh, SV98, I have a video on it. And I was going for the normal version, but I got the gold. So I want to complain, but I can't. And I won't. Um, then we have these typical stuff. Gold TWM. Uh, I think I got this when things were still permanent. Because I don't think the gold TWM is an exception to that change they made. Um, so yeah. Nothing else much to talk about. Uh, here again. Another version of the TWM. Which for some reason was way worse. I'm pretty sure. If I'm not mistaken. Um, and this was before the TWM became what it is today. Because back in the day, TWM used to be the meta sniper. So it was it was pretty weird that they released the nerfed version of it, nerfed skin version of it. Like some of the choices they made back in the day, like very very questionable and, and like weird, uh, to say the least. To put it mildly, uh, I should say. And then uh, nothing much else here that I think people don't know about. Okay, again, anniversary skin. Uh, this was an absolute blast to play with, and I just... Uh, it's such a shame that you can't play with a, in a TWM that's that good anymore. And is this rare? Do people have the AWM Winter Camo? Because this was pretty popular too. But um, again, it's phased out, and I don't know if anyone has it permanent. Please let me know if you know. But this was pretty popular too. Um, that's it for those. Armor. Again, nothing much. Nothing too important. For Sniper, there's not many cool looking vests. So that's the... The Hawk vest was the best one I could choose out of the ones I have. But I, I really love the multi-purpose gloves. I think they look gorgeous. So that's why I have them on. There we go. Now set class, I don't really have that much. I did buy, they get a lot of crowns, decent amount of crowns. So I did buy like uh, some upgrades, but uh, I don't really care about this class all that much. So um, I, I, it's basically naked here, as you can see. Okay, now we get to the second part, stats. Um, rank 70, 124 out of 137, 300 out of uh, 1700 challenges so what is that like one out of six right 1600 that's no math where'd you go why'd you escape me yeah S yeah 18 18 is three times six so yeah about one out of six um missions completed you see it there win to loss ratio i'm actually pretty surprised that it's at that i, I feel like it should be way worse given how bad I am at the game. And but that's actually my KD makes up for it. My KD takes care of, of reflecting how bad I am at the game. And it's it's so my KD's like has been declining for like two, three years now. And it's a bit sad because back when I first started, I used to, I used to be like super super trash. Like the worst player you've ever seen. I would be like uh out of my mind and lo losing my head from happiness when I got like a 1 KD in a game but I slowly but surely improved at the game and I got to a point where I was getting a 2 KD pretty consistently um, so I would have had a 2 KD if it wasn't for how shit I was in the beginning and my KD was going towards there and I think the highest I got was like 1.8 something but then that's when I started getting inactive and playing less and less um, and that's ever since my KD has been dropping and now it's at 
one, probably, I don't know. Um, so that's that's a bit of story behind my KDE. I'm trying to justify it. Total playtime, pretty low for somebody who has played for seven years, I know, but again, studies and uh, my family isn't very friendly with me playing games, so <laughs> can't really get on and stay on for that long. Um, I don't know if that longest play session is indicative of anything. Is that low or is that high? Like, let me know if you know anything. I don't know if those are important. Fuck it. Um, again, we got these stats here. Matches left. I think this will probably maybe surprise. This might surprise some of you. Fourteen hundred matches left, but I actually leave a lot of matches. Not because I'm when I'm losing, and I don't know if you'll believe me when I say that, but a lot of times, uh, keep in mind that the games, that, the game modes I play the most are non-round based game modes. So TDM, uh, Storm, um, Team Deathmatch and those ones. And a, a very prevalent problem in those game modes is spawn trapping. And spawn trapping is just the most boring thing in the universe. So a lot of times, since this issue is so big and so it happens so often, I have this many matches, which what it means by that, if you can't connect the lines, it means that a lot of times when I played a lot of these matches, I would get into it and then it would become a spawn trap fest and then I would leave. So that's why this number is so high. Um, now, favorite class, Rifleman, longest kill streak 27. I don't know when and where I got that. I think that was actually in an, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like that was in, an, in a TDM on downtown when I was sniping with the uh, Alpine. For some reason, I think that's when I got this 27 kill streak. Uh, I, th I have a feeling I was camping in the building as well when, I, when that happened. <laughs> um, uh, four, uh, holy shit, I can't read this. 1,400, 114,000 headshots, gosh. So a little below half headshots. I think that's probably like 40% headshots. Um, could be a lot higher, but again, I was shit at the game for the longest time. Like, I think I'm probably one of the slowest people when it comes to learning curves. So, yeah. And then you have my PvP, PvE stats. I don't know if these are very important or what you guys will think about them. You have them there. Um, my headshot ratio is a bit better there. So, that's that might be an indi indication as to... Uh, how I improved. Now this one is going to be a little more interesting, a little bit more interesting. Um, my favorite weapon here, it says favorite but obviously means most used. Um, shooting accuracy, that's pretty good I'd say, 23%. Uh, so I'm not ashaming myself here with that, that stat. But um, but you'll, you'll see later on some other things are pretty bad. Uh, with the AK 103, I've talked about this before, but it's like a weapon that I go back to so often. And I don't think I'll ever be able to surpass anything uh, when it comes to um, playtime. Nothing will surpass the AK-103 when it comes to playtime, I believe. It's just that reliable and that um, easy to go back to. I don't know if this 720 hours is with the AK-103 alone or for the Rifleman class. If everybody knows, please let me know. But I... I I have a suspicion that's for the class. That'd be way too much time with just the K103. That'd be pretty crazy. Medic. I mainly played in PVE. Sometimes in PVP, I'm not that good. I am the god medic, but <laughs> I don't play that often. Um, now engineer. This is where it starts to get weird. Accuracy is pretty low, and my favorite weapon is somehow still this shitty ass Sig. Um, this was like the only. SMG that I had for the longest time and I used it all the time and somehow it's still the fucking <laughs> Most used weapon that I have here, but I'm so ashamed that this is not the Karkham SMG here and it's this gun And same thing for sniper my accuracy is not too bad. I prefer if it was like 50% or above but the Everest or the Alpine is the only sniper that I've ever gotten a mastery with so mastery as in 10,000 kills even though it's nowhere near my favorite, so I'm pretty ashamed of having this as my most used weapon here as well, but it is what it is. And set class will just got released and nobody cares about it. Now career, this is a bit spicy too. 
have all the weapons currently unlocking armors so I have all these gamma pieces left um, looking to forward to see if any of these gloves are, are pretty and can replace the default glove and then attachments I'll at least have all of them but I'm gonna have a rant here again I really hate that all the new attachments we're getting are gun exclusive I think they should release new uh, these legendary? What are they called? No. So these are professional level. What the hell is that? Professional? That sounds stupid. I guess professional level, yeah. They should release some professional level uh, attachments as well. Like, even if it's something as simple as a red dot sight with different looks and different colors, I'd still take that. I think that's a must. Like, they, they really should do that. And now challenges. Now, this part that I'm really proud of because I have some odd challenges and you'll see when you when I go through them so I'll just show you the the most the ones I'm closest to here so I have uh, actually you probably don't want to see these I don't even have <laughs> that thing a thousand bombs that's how little I play plant, plant bombs some of those game modes my closest weapon to mastery is the AUG bro <laughs> that's how little I've used <laughs> That's how inactive I've gone actually after actually like, like look I, have, I don't even have 4,000 kills with Karkum oh my god I'm so sad oh some of you guys might be interested about this um, I only have 668 FFA wins uh, due to both my inactivity and sort of in the same basket me becoming worse at the game and I used to play FFA so so much after I stopped playing Storm and it was super fun, but then like it become it became the sweat fest that it is today. So now I don't even care about this achievement anymore. If anything, whenever I see somebody have it, I like sort of cringe and I and I found it find it very very ugly. I find it the sort of a uh, uh, hateful stance, but <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel about it because I feel like the fate today is like sort of a ruined game mode. Um, so I don't really care about this. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, back when I enjoyed it and I played it a lot, I used to... Uh, I was on my way to get a 1,000. I, I was... I get wins pretty often, but nowadays, I, like, never win because people are so sweaty and I... And I play so little that I'm so bad. But, yeah. The closest one is the SIG. Wow. I don't even have a mastery of that. It's pretty shameful. Okay, I'm going to go through these. I don't know if... Okay, this is something that you guys might not know about, but we had used to have leaderboards in co-op for different categories like explosive kills, headshots, uh, completion time, and all that. And this is where those are from. So uh, back when I used to be in the, my active guild, guild, my active clan, <laughs> that's when I got this, being in the top 10. And top 100 is not that hard to get, I'm pretty sure. Wasn't that hard to get. Um, and this... The achievement for being actually first and when you were first when you, um your name was actually listed on the loading screen when you were uh starting the game so if we get back to this because i feel like we're already at like 500 hours into this video i don't want to spend too long on this uh tower used to be like the only co-op spec ops in the only thing we grinded and I started completing it when we got into uh, my guild called my guild again fucking I said guild my clan called Exodus that's where I actually was able to complete it. It, it at first it was super hard to complete tower and I remember like most people struggled with it but after like uh, active gu k clans gosh I'm gonna say guild again after active and sort of serious clans start, started popping up it become it became very easy and, and like mainstream to complete it and, and actually even farm it um, so yeah see here I got FFA wins in 2015 so 2015 was when I was like started I started getting into FFA actively I, I assume actually it should probably be the other one let's see where it is so here's my this is actually my most proud of I think I'm probably the uh, I don't know if oh my god one second guys be right back 
Sorry for that, guys. I'm back. So as I was saying, um, I don't know if you guys heard. My phone was actually ringing, but I have it on silent so you guys can hear. But um, I think I'm one of. I'm definitely top five players to get this achievement when it comes to uh, order of of people getting it first. Maybe even top three. I think top three is probably. I'm not aware of how many people and who got it first. I know one of my friends called All Star got it before me. And some of the players from uh, this old clan called uh, Made in China, they used to farm Storm pretty actively, and I think one of them got him pretty early. Well, never mind. It was another one that I was thinking of, but I don't remember his name. Uh, he wasn't in Made in China, but he got it pretty early on too. Um, but the people in Made in China, they probably got it pretty early on as well. But I'm pretty proud to, to know that I was one of the first people to get this, and I think it looks freaking dope as well. It looks pretty damn nice so my most uh pride filled achievement i'd say gray mastery now this might be a little weird for somebody so you to see but if you play storm and know the grenade spots you get kick you get grenade kills so so often and that's why i had this unlocked so early um or even have it unlocked at all and i got it back in 2016 so yeah so yeah here you see like 22 2500 oh no that's 250 2500 no 25 version was 2000 250 ffa wins so 2016 was when i was like actively playing ffa and actually like winning matches <laughs> so then we come up third anniversary i don't know why that has neither name nor description but yeah that's for third anniversary then we get to more and more common and and widespread uh achievements here that most of you probably know about um yeah nothing to talk about much uh the the m91 is my favorite pistol and i got the 10,000 kills with it back when 10,000 was the normal mastery but now that the requirement has been reduced i have the advanced mastery as well but i think the advanced mastery is super fucking ugly like Honestly, could you not just not do more than just changing some fucking colors on the achievement? I think it's, it's just stupid. It's pretty lazy design. And for some, like, can I find the quick one here? I think for stripes, the design, the pattern is different too, but I think it, it's just ugly. Like, I, I apologize, but it's just so bad. Okay, yeah, I have <laughs> advanced green mastery too. <laughs> And I don't know if, how many people have that, but I think it might be surprising to a lot of you. This is another achievement I'm proud of, and I told you guys about my regret regarding the achievement. Uh, but yeah, now we get to badges. The video is coming to an end. I think we're closing down on an hour here, probably. <laughs> um, yeah, here we go. So again, Storm, it's very easy to get grenade kills. And I got my five kills with one nade pretty early on. 2013, holy shit. Uh, I think that's something that people get later on. Because most people either get in by farming in co-op or like getting very, very lucky. But if you play a game more like Storm, I think it's pretty easy to get, actually. So then we have some other typical ones that you see everybody have. This for first anniversary. Actually, it looks pretty ugly, but I don't think many people have it since it was, you know, first anniversary. Um, I don't know if... I feel like I have a... F for some reason, I have a feeling this is these two are rare as well. Um, but, yeah, this was for unlocking all the items in the vendor. The vendors. Then we get to some... Here you see that it actually was, was when we got the... Uh, winter missions and I was farming it with my clan so that's the only reason I had them we got a thousand grenadiers 2015 and then got 2500 brain smashers 2016 that's a big one I think a lot of people aim for and then some random ones now for stripes oh, I didn't show wh which ones I'm getting next. I don't even know myself. So the closest weapon, is it the Saiga? Don't tell me it's the Saiga. Or is it the mine? <laughs> don't tell me it's mine mastery. It's actually mine mastery. Wow. 
So, where's the closest relevant weapon? Oh my god, I have no relevant weapon when it comes to mastering for badges. Holy shit, really? Oh my god, this is scary. Are there any relevant weapons that I've ever used? What is this? No, no. Okay, I guess that's one. That's the closest that I get. So I, I don't even have a thousand kills with it though. <laughs> Damn. Okay, now we get the stripes. And this is going to be the last part of the video. It's okay. You can grab a tissue. I'll wait. Um, okay, so... Oh my god, okay. So what I'm, uh, I'm closest to unlocking is DSA Mastery, FN2000, the Og, Embel, and the Scout. Don't have the AWM. That's sad. This is my f like one of my favorites. But as far as stripes goes, when it comes to the ones I have unlocked, um, let's see. Are there any ones that are actually nice to nice or rare? Okay, the first gun that I ever mastered, I'm pretty sure, was the Karkum. Again, if you didn't realize till now, Karkum is my favorite series of weapons. And so, uh, I made sure to master this gun as soon as possible. Um, here I was getting, like, the tower completed with different classes. So you see, that was around, like, in 2014. Damn, Exodus was 2014? Shit. Um, AK-103, again, given what I said, it's not too weird to see this here, but this is pretty weird, like, I don't know why I have Everest mastered, actually I do know, the reason I have it mastered and, I, and it's the only gun I have mastered is because for the longest damn time, the only freely available bolt action sniper rifle was the Everest, so I had no choice but to snipe with this gun if I wanted to play sniper class, um, and by the time other actually good sniper, bolt action snipers became available, I had this already mastered. And now uh, I, I don't play nearly enough to master that. Um, Black Hawk, like I said, my favorite melee weapon. And I mastered this at the, sa as the, same, at the same time as the M9A1 pistol. It was back when um, there was a... I think, I don't know if there was like some sort of bug or something, but everybody was farming the initiation missions for, in co-op, for rewards and money and XP. And that's when I, and obviously that's the easiest mode, so I was just using this and that pistol to, to clear it while also mastering it. Again, Karkum Mastery, so I have to have the Sniper Karkum's Mastery as well. Even though, sh shame. It is shameful. I'm shameful to say that I don't have the black Karkum. I don't even know when was the last time it was available and if I actually made an effort to get it, but yeah, I don't have it. Um, some other ones here. Fourth anniversary and fifth anniversary. Fifth anniversary, again, the skins look good, but the stripe, it looks like a little ugly, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like with the shape and everything. Um, and then with the change to f the requirements for the masteries, now I have Ace Val, Miller, M16, and Chaytech. Well, even the M200 unlocked. And the uh, AX308. So, yeah. Cards, um, I'll be getting them in 2022. Don't, rest assured. <laughs> clan, I'm in just a random clan. My teammate, my friend, created and then left. Uh, so there's nothing really to see. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I apologize again for this video being long, but I hope you still enjoyed it. And if you're one of the people who likes shorter uh, accounts or inventory review videos, um, my apologies. But you can always, like I said, mute it and put it on fast mode and put a music. So I hope it didn't bother you too much either. But yeah, uh, that's it for my inventory uh, and my account, I should say. If you have any questions regarding anything in this video, feel free to let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's going to be it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.